Greetings, everyone. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And yes, I know it is late, late. And probably most of y'all will probably be in bed, but somebody should be up, <laughs> hopefully. If not, you can come back and watch the replay of this. But uh, I wanted to get this covered so I didn't uh, have to be behind again. I uh, hate being behind, so... I'm going to do this late, amen, it's past midnight, and we're going to get this going, amen. So, this is the Baptist Bread Daily Devotional for Sunday, October 13th, 2019, and I greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and it is I, Brother Scott, bringing you these devotionals each and every day as I am able to. So let's get started on the topic of what about love, question mark. And the uh, author for today's topic is uh, PH, that is short for uh, Paul Heaton, and he is the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Lupton, Michigan, amen. So let's get started on the topic of what about love, and it says here in 1 John 2.15, Love not the world. Yeah, so let's love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. First John 2, 15. And so he says here, as we start out on this topic of what about love, he says here, the following quote was seen on a headstone in a cemetery in Ireland. Uh, Death leaves a heartache. No one can heal. Love leaves a mem memory no one can steal. So this uh, was a quote that was seen on a headstone in a cemetery in Ireland. And in the quote uh, was said uh, on the tombstone, it said, Death leaves a heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. And then he says here, The world's definition of love is more defined by the word lust. Yeah, so... The world's definition of love is more defined by the word lust. Love is a word that is attached to dozens of things. People love soda pop, ice cream, sports, snow, and candy, to name a few. The list goes on of things people love, but uh, that's not real love. I mean, how can you love an object? <laughs> Are you going to marry it? As, uh, as a brother in Christ would uh, always ask me, or... Somebody would say something about, oh, I love that pizza. You would say, oh, you love it so much you're going to marry it? <laughs> uh, no, probably not. So we really don't love love it that much that you would marry it and want to have a relationship with it. But, of course, people have such sick minds these days that they probably would end up uh, <laughs> loving that pizza in a way they probably shouldn't. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. That's uh, pretty disgusting. So let's not uh, go down that road. <laughs> All right, so the list goes on of things people love. The word love, depending on how it is used, can mean a number of things, but we usually think of it as regard with affection or a pleasing sensation or desire of gratification. So that's where lust comes in, not real love. So love goes deeper, and God showed real love by sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ down here to die for our sin, that uh, is a love that is action, that's charity, love and action, amen. So, um, let's uh, read that again. The word love, depending on how it is used, can mean a number of things, but we usually think of it as regard with affection, or a pleasing sensation or desire of gratification. In other words... We show affection and relationship to a person, animal, or thing. Or we love the excitement of a motorcycle ride or a roller coaster ride and so forth. <laughs> but love is also described as a feeling of sensation that we have concerning a person. Thus, we love our, lo our wife if you're married, or we love a friend, or we have a special love for someone who has done us a favor of some sort, or uh, loving a brother and sister in Christ, amen, or loving a family member, amen, so, and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ should learn to love each other, 
amen, and get along with one another. All right, so continuing on, he says, Our text said, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right. Uh, we all have, at times, formed affection for certain worldly things that take us away from the word. That's Jesus, the word, and the Bible, lowercase word, the church, and often from fellowship with the Lord. Yeah, that's the truth. Say, uh, say what it, uh, say, what is it uh, you love more than the Bible or your blessed Savior? <laughs> yeah, so ask yourself, what is it you love more than the Bible or your beloved Savior? Remember, love leaves a memory no one can steal. Amen. So, let us learn to love one another and love the Lord more and more every day. Amen. And uh, good uh, topic on love and the fruit of the Spirit book. And you can find that at the church website at www.jameswnox.org. It's his latest book that he just wrote. And it's a really good book on uh, the fruit of the Spirit. And there's a big chapter on love and what love is and, and all that stuff. So uh, I encourage you to pick up a copy of that book and read it and uh hope that it be a help and a blessing to you of course it's uh it might uh leave you a little bruised spiritually but uh, we all need it amen uh so let's uh get uh working on that uh real love amen all right so that is the topic of what about love and love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world, the, fa the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John 2, 15. All right, so that was the topic for today. What about love? And now let us get into the Bible reading. And we are in 1 Thessalonians chapter number 1. So if you have your Bible with you, King James authorized version of the Bible, please follow along if you're able to. And we will get started here as soon as I get to it. So, all right. So, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. And this is the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 1 says, Paul and Silvanus uh, and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonian, uh, Thessalonians which is in God the Father, and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, and labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our Father. Knowing, brethren, uh, beloved, your election of God. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance. As ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. And ye became followers of us, and of the Lord, having received the word in much aff affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, so that we uh, were in samples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God word in, is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything, for they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Amen. So, that was First Thessalonians chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Ten verses. Amen. So that will wrap it up for the devotional and the Bible reading for today. And that was for Sunday, October 13th. And uh, 
I know it's past midnight, so some of y'all might consider it being tomorrow since it's past midnight, but I wanted to get this covered so I didn't have to do uh, two tomorrow so I can get to be caught up. Amen. So tomorrow's topic will be titled, One is Important, and that will be for tomorrow, Monday, October 14th. And we'll be in First Thessalonians chapter 2 for the Bible reading. Amen. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that. All right, well, I will wrap it up for tonight, and thank you all for getting on and watching, and those of you getting on the replay, and may the Lord richly bless, uh, bless you, sorry, may the Lord richly bless you, and hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your evening, and remember, Jesus saves, so believe on him. All right, this is Brother Scott signing off for tonight, so bye-bye for now.